Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video is going to be a Instagram Q&A and um, I just, I thought it would be really fun. There's a lot of new people around here since I've even done a live stream, which maybe I should do one soon. Let me know in the comments if you think that's a great idea. And so I thought I would go over to my Instagram stories and ask for questions. You guys provided lots of them. A lot are asking about my plans for the future. Thank you for making me think about that um, because I don't know if I have all that many plans. Anyway, um, let's just get into it. This is a super casual video. Messy bun, no makeup. We're just relaxing and hanging out. Abby's sleeping next to me, so if you hear her snoring, that's what it is. And I guess let's just get into it. Um, I guess... Hold up. Before we go much further, though, I do want to remind you to click the subscribe button. And if you want to participate in future Q&As, you should follow me on Instagram. It's linked in the description box or you can just search it by finding at underscore Danielle McAllister. All right, now let's actually start the Q&A. What kind of life do you dream about in the future? I love your videos, by the way. You have the best voice ever. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that you like my voice. Um, to be honest, not a big fan of listening to it, uh, but I am seriously considering making a podcast, so maybe you guys will like my voice enough to listen to it. Um, as for what kind of life do I dream about for the future, honestly, I am a simple life kind of person. I do like city life where I can walk to places and stores are close and nightlife is close, restaurants, things like that. Um, I do want to be moving around more. I want to be traveling, preferably in an RV or camper van with my dog Abby and just sort of making things and living my life. That's what I dream about for the future. Um, I don't necessarily ha want to be tied down to one place for a long period of time and I want to see a lot more of Canada and the rest of North America. Question number two is do you have a boyfriend? And to that question I will say no I don't have a boyfriend. Next question is favorite go-to food on bad days? Um, I'm not sure I have a favorite go-to food. I would normally say just Taco Bell but I eat that on all days. Well, not every single day, but any day is a day for Taco Bell to me. So, um, for a bad day though, it would be a huge junk food binge to the point where I don't feel very good afterwards. Uh, I seriously try and limit that though because it doesn't just affect the day I eat it all, it affects the next day as well. And I do not like that feeling at all of being sick the next day from eating so much junk food. Another question about my future. You guys must be really concerned about me. I don't know. This one is, where do you see yourself in five years? Um, pretty similar to the dream life question. Probably traveling around with Abby, my pup, and making things and creating more content, probably still making YouTube videos, because to be honest, I really like this, and as long as YouTube is still around, I think I'll stick with it. Uh, as well, I would like to be doing things that help other people in their business. This is something I'm working on right now, but I would like to be helping small business owners who've never used social media learn how to use it and learn how to make it work for their business. You guys are all about the deep questions today, or a few days ago when this happened. This one is, what is your biggest motivation? Um, my biggest motivation is probably 
just the satisfaction of learning new things and sharing those with other people. I love finding new facts and then or new tools, new apps, things that can help me in my business and then sharing them with all of my friends who think they who I think it could help them as well. Um, I don't know how many people I've got turned on to different programs or on to d different ways of doing things. Uh, it really gives me great satisfaction and motivates me to learn more things is to be able to help those people in any way that I can. Okay, the next question is favorite thing about yourself. Um, if we were talking physical thing, then I would say my eyes. I quite enjoy how blue and sparkly they are, how mischievous they can look. Um, I do get a lot of compliments on my eyes. If we're talking uh, non-physical things, I think I would say my sense of humor. It gets me in trouble sometimes, but I think I'm the funniest person I know. Uh, <laughs> and I laugh at my own jokes, so that's all that matters. This person asked if I've ever been to Hawaii, and no, I haven't. And I'm not really, it's not really on my travel plans, mostly because I don't like hot, humid places, but I think it would be really beautiful to see, and I would like to see the history of Hawaii and learn about it a lot more. Again, you guys ask this one a lot, a lot, a lot, and it's just, how old are you? I am 31 years old. This person asked a fun question. They asked, what is the best thing about being a YouTuber? Um... <laughs> I'm not really sure. I guess the best thing is getting to interact with all of the people watching my videos who find them helpful and who actually want to be part of the community. I don't particularly enjoy interacting with the trolls, but I do really like sort of interacting with all the people who actually watch it because they enjoy what I'm making. The next question is, what's the best advice to give someone who wants to start a YouTube channel? And this, hands down, is something that I think everybody should at least try to do, is to make a YouTube channel. Uh, I think if you want to make a YouTube channel, you should just start. I know that's not much advice in terms of practical things of getting it done, but um, starting a YouTube channel was probably the best thing I ever did in terms of building confidence and learning myself and um, getting myself out there and being willing to put my creativity out there. Um, before I started YouTube, I would always just sort of make things and not tell anybody about them, and they were always just for me, and that has changed. I've started sharing so much more of what I make, so much more of my opinions, and it has done so many things for my confidence. And to be honest, just starting and doing the dang thing and putting out videos is the best thing you can do. The next best thing, though, is to be consistent. If you're going to start a YouTube channel, really go for it. Start with, you know, finding the schedule that works for you. Treating it like it's a job. You know, making relevant content for the niche you want to be in. And actually treat it like it's going to be a thing. You can't just put up a video once every few months if you want to see results and you want to actually build a community and, you know, make friends and have people watching. You have to be consistent. Another one asking if I have a boyfriend slash love interest. They did say, do you have a boyfriend slash love interest or just ya doggo for now? And to be honest, I couldn't really care less if it's just my dog forever and like she's my ride or die. I can't believe I just said that, but my dog is my is my life. Um, yes, I'm one of those crazy people, 
and I'm okay with that. My dog doesn't really like other people anyway, so if I got a boyfriend anytime soon, she would need to be okay with them. And um, if she doesn't like them or doesn't warm up to them, they gotta go. What is your all-time favorite breakfast? Okay, my favorite breakfast is not actually breakfast food. It's when I go to Denny's with my sister usually at, you know, breakfast, brunch time, and we get chicken fingers. Yes, I am a giant toddler when I eat food. Um, sorry, not sorry, but I enjoy getting their um, chicken fingers meal or their sampler with the chicken fingers in it and eating that for breakfast because unless I cook breakfast myself, I usually don't like eating breakfast food. All right, I'm including this one again because it has an extra spin on it. This one says, are you single or do you have, or sorry, this question says, are you single? Do you or have you ever done online dating? Yes, I'm single for the third time. <laughs> Maybe I should have combined all these together, but that's all right. They're funny. Um, I have tried online dating, and to be honest, when I lived in a much bigger city, it was a lot easier to meet people through online dating, but when you live in a small city, in the same city that you grew up in, then you try online dating or, let's see, I've used Plenty of Fish, which is a gross place to meet people, to be honest. Okay, Cupid, that was pretty good, um, but the dating pool is very small. Uh, then there's Tinder, which, again, not so much fun, and Bumble. So I've tried them all. Um, at least all the apps and I've never really had much success because I live in a small town where everybody knows everybody and I don't like most of the people I grew up with and I don't want to date them so I would like to meet somebody who hasn't grown up in Kingston and um, yeah so <sighs> I, I am single and yes, I've tried online dating. It was not a fun experience for me. Um, let me know in the comments below if you want to hear some weird slash funny slash hella awkward online dating stories. Um, I can't say I can give you any advice because I'm still very single, but um, I can make you laugh a little if you want. Let me know. Next question. How are you doing? How is life? I'm doing pretty good actually, um, I haven't really shared this anywhere, but, uh, this week was my last day at my employer, um, where I had an office job. I'm sure you, lots of you guys saw it in the background of some of my videos when I filmed what I eat in days, what I eat in a day videos and things. Um, my position just became redundant. I, yeah, I don't know. Um, no fault to them, but it was costing them lots of money to have me there when the business wasn't making any money. So they let me go slash laid me off, basically. Um, but that means that I get to make my business and all of my side gigs my full-time gig and make it work for me. So that's what I'm doing and honestly I'm having a great time so far. Granted I'm like half a week into it so we'll see how it goes from here but uh, it's been pretty great so far and I am not missing working in an office. I probably will miss the paycheck that just came from showing up every day and doing almost nothing because my job was really that boring but uh, I think I will like very much being able to do my own thing, make my own schedule, and have control over how much income I make. Uh, this one is, what are your plans for the future? I'm pretty sure we've covered that pretty thoroughly for now. Uh, which provinces have you been to? I have been to Ontario, where I live, and Quebec. I do have plans to see all of the provinces and territories. It's just going to be in my dream life plan with the RV. I plan to see them all. Every last single one of them. 
and it's going to be awesome. All right, uh, this one asks, what did you want to do when you were in high school as, or as a career? In high school, uh, and basically since grade six, I've been saying I want to be a fashion designer, and even then I kind of knew that that wouldn't really be possible in terms of being the owner of a huge business and designing all the clothes and things like that. Um, but I stuck with that. I went to fashion design school in Toronto. I took uh, fashion arts at Seneca. I do not have my whole diploma. I'm three credits short uh, and I'm okay with that because I do not want to go back to school anymore. I'm so over school. I'm so over full nights up and never leaving the classroom and being in front of a sewing machine constantly um, and never sleeping and catty bitchy schoolgirls in fashion school. Um, but I have maintained for a very long time that I've wanted to work in fashion and now I'm doing that because I'm making it my own and I'm doing that for myself. I don't need someone else to give me the career that I want. This one says, uh, not a question, but post more vlogs. Um, do you guys think I should post more vlogs? Like, day in the life type vlogs, not necessarily what I eat in a day, but just me living my life? What do you think? I need to know because this will take some investment. I need would need to get like a, a handheld camera. All I have is my phone and that's what I vlog on, but it makes it really difficult to sort of live my life and vlog. I sometimes need my phone also while recording and I can't have that. So I need to know and I will work on getting the second camera because my filming setup camera is too big to haul around with me. I just, I can't. It weighs like six pounds and I can't just be like holding that up vlogging all the time, you know? I'm, yeah. Next question is, what was your experience like in fashion school? I made fashion school, my fashion school experience, um, I made it a little bit different than everybody else's. I took my time to go through classes. I did a lot of my own stuff on the side. I volunteered for fashion week. Um, I would get permission from my um, classes to take the whole week off of school. I would do all my projects and stuff, but I would take the whole week off of classes if it didn't line up with my reading week. And I would go and volunteer uh, for Toronto Fashion Week. And I would volunteer for all kinds of other things actually, in terms of fashion events and other things, film festivals. Um, but being actually in classes, I didn't have a great time, to be honest. I was the only fat person in my class, and we didn't make any plus-size clothes at all. We didn't even talk about plus-size as a category. We barely talked about menswear as a category. That was an elective that you had to take. Um, there was, you know, until I got to third year or yeah, third year, when I had to make something for someone, I made it for my sister. I made something for my sister, which, like, it was really bad. Like, the thing I made was really bad. But that was the first time they'd ever even said, oh, yeah, you can make it whatever size you want. And even then, I had to get special permission. So, um, yeah, fashion school was not a great experience as a fat person. Um, I didn't really make any friends. I don't put up with people's shit very well. And so when your class is filled with 90 girls and they just feed off of each other's drama, I was not into that and I just sort of left it alone. I did have a couple friends but they weren't like BFFs for life. Um, yeah, I just kind of got through it and did a lot of my own thing. This person asked, how do you stay po so positive amid amidst so much negativity, super inspiring, and then there's a uh, heart thingy. Uh, and I know who this is from uh, because they're my friend. And um, I stay positive because I just don't let the bad things sink in. When I'm reading comments that are sort of trolly, I don't let it sink in. I just sort of 
skim things for the bad and for like the bad words and block them or delete them. Um, if I am having a bad day where I'm trying, like I'm not really like in a good mood or whatever, I just sort of let that mood settle and eventually it'll just sort of like float away and I'll feel better. I try and read a book, I will watch some YouTube, listen to some podcasts, do whatever I can to sort of get out of a bad mood. Um, but for the most part, I just don't let when someone is purposely trying to be mean, I don't let it sink in and um, I try to think the best of people um, even when they're purposely being rude and jerky. Ooh, that was the last question. Okay. Um, all right. We're out of questions. You guys know three times over what my dreams for the future are and three times over whether or not I have a boyfriend. So, um, next time we do this, I'm not going to answer those same questions. Uh, but... I appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to ask me the questions and to watch this. If you have any other questions or comments, leave them in the comments below and I will try and answer them for the first 24 hours. Um, beyond that, check the description box if you want to follow me on Instagram so that you can ask questions for yourself in the future. Um, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!